Knock, knock. Who's there? Nurse Moped. Nurse Moped who? You have a Moped. Well, your new computer should be here tonight. Well, she got out of here in a hurry, didn't she? I don't know what that's like when people just say the bare minimum to you. But with me, it's usually mop that floor, clean that counter, stop provoking that bear. Want me to keep you company? I don't mind. I'm just working on my own stuff today anyway. Ugh. I'm a bit of an adventure. I want to show you my latest one. Pens draw. Perfect. <clears throat> Except I don't like that cola. It tastes like ink. But that's just one. I got a million ideas. I don't care if he is on the first floor. I need this cleaned up right now. Up here. Honey. Open up the window. That was quick. I call it the Hover Hoover, where suction meets the sky. Drill, fork, you can drill and fork. Mostly fork. You know what? I don't care what those people said. I know I make a difference around here. Hey, Joe. They don't know how different it would be if I wasn't here. Hey, Joe. Yep. A lot of lives would change. In fact, I am going to prove that to them right now. I am going to fix your computer. I just got to go get my real tools. I've turned all these into eating utensils. Dig in. Mr. McNair, I didn't exactly fix your computer. I think I might have voided your warranty. Hey. Thanks to your little telling me the wrong time prank, I was 45 minutes late for my oriental massage. Which meant that instead of Pang Lao, I had to settle for Qing Lao. So? Qing Lao is a dude! You know, I've accepted the fact that you're useless around here. Maybe you could just try a little harder not to make things worse. So you know what he doesn't get is that I could have been a janitor anywhere. When I got out of college, I, I had offers, man. Morgan Stanley, DuPont. I even considered taking a year off and cleaning my way across Europe. But no, I chose a hospital. You know, I'm not kidding myself. I, I know I don't have the most important job in the world, but I work in a place that helps people, and I always thought that I was part of that. Who cares? <laughs> Well, Mr. McNair, hope you don't mind me hanging out all day talking to you. I don't think you do mind. I got a seventh sense about that sort of thing. My sixth sense is I can tell when squirrels are afraid. Anyway, I know you lost your computer, and I thought maybe you were a little bit lonely. I've been lonely around here a couple times. I don't know. I just hope I helped. <laughs> Nobody's buying it. Here we go. Your new computer is finally here. Sorry it took so long. What time is it? Uh, six o'clock. We're realizing that you actually do make a difference. And there you go, Mr. McNair. Thank you. Don't mention it. I wasn't talking to you. Don't wear my shirt.